After being an avid Forex trader for the past nine years, I recently switched to futures trading and this is why. First off, FTMO stopped accepting US clients and I am a US citizen. I just thought that was a red flag. And this wasn't the only prop firm that had issues. And my second point, my Forex funds went out of business in 2023 without telling anyone what was going on. Just a huge mystery and a lot of people got screwed over. And thirdly, the breaking tipping point was when all these brokers like Hugo's Way, KOT, Forex, Osprey, all got blacklisted off MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. And that's a really, really big red flag if you guys really do your homework and you think about it. So I'm gonna show you guys in this video the platform that I'm using to trade futures and exactly how you guys can get your account set up. And I'm gonna show you how you can actually take a trade live. The step-by-step -step process, how to monitor the trade, how to do everything. Before we start, if you guys do want to be mentored by me or you want to see how I can help you become a better trader, click the link in my description and there should be a link where you can book a phone call with me. I just want to see where you're at with your trading and how I can help you out. And if you don't want to book a call, that's fine. Just send me a message on Instagram. Send me the keyword mentorship though so I could see how I could help you out and then we'll go from there. Now without further ado, let's get into my computer. Okay guys, we're gonna break it down and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm twerking with so you guys can copy and just replicate what I'm doing. I promise you, you guys are going to love what I'm gonna show you. And I, I just want to give you guys as much value as I can. I wanna help you guys get to where you want to be as traders. And if you're stuck on Forex and you like Forex, that's cool. What I'd recommend is just try what I'm gonna teach you guys in this video. And if you don't like it, go back to what you were doing. So these are the main differences between Forex and futures. Instead of lot sizes, we call them contracts. And do not worry everyone, I'm gonna go to the chart and I'm gonna show you how to enter a trade, how to get the right lot size, everything is going to be showing to you guys in this video. I'm gonna drop the bombs on you. And this is stuff that I recently learned, but I had to do a lot of research on my own and it took a lot of time. So I'm gonna just break it down for you and make it easy. A thing that I even struggle with myself since I'm new to futures too, is I was nine years in the game with Forex and now I'm in futures for like a month now. The hardest thing is just understanding contracts, the size and everything, but I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing. So instead of lot sizes, we call them contracts, one contract, two contracts, three contracts. Is it a micro contract, a mini contract? What is it? Instead of pips or a pip in the move in the mark, which is a move in the market, we call it a tick. Okay, so instead of 10 ticks, or if instead of 10 pips, it'd be one tick, one move in the market. Instead of stop loss or take profit, we call them brackets. What I love is there's absolutely no spread. When I enter a trade, I enter into the markets exactly where current, the current price is that I entered at. Most platforms and brokers connect directly to TradingView. So with me, I would always do my analysis on TradingView and then I'd pull up my phone or go to my other laptop and enter a trade on there. I love that it's all integrated on TradingView because that's where I back test. That's where I do my analysis. Everything is on TradingView, which is perfect. Most platforms and brokers, like I said, connect directly to TradingView. And I'll show you how to connect it in just a second. No more sketchy, unre unregulated brokers, guys. We're not doing that BS anymore. You guys need to be protecting your money. And the thing that I love is most of these platforms, they have insurance of up to $250,000. So if I have $250,000 in my platform, it is protected no matter what. If the business goes bankrupt, out of business, I have my two hundred fifty dollars that is going to be protected at, any, at every point in time, at any point in time. Okay, The platform to use is Tradeavate. That's the one that I am currently using right now. It connects directly to TradingView. Super easy to set up and use. And like I said, we're not using Tradeavate's trading platform. We're just using it to fund our account and connect it to TradingView. It's easy to fund and withdraw the money. You must buy the TradingView subscription and you must buy a CME. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, so that's a platform, the ins and outs of it. 
let's now go to Tradeavate and I'll show you how to get your account set up and stuff. So this is Tradeavate.com. You guys can go through and check everything out. It is super easy. They have phone and live chat support. And that's the pro about working with regulated platforms like this. You don't have to worry about email support and their live chat getting back to you. Like you can get on the phone with these people. You can't do that with like any Forex broker because they're all super sketchy and unregulated. Like I'm telling you guys, you need to get regulated. You need to make sure that your money's protected, you're protected, your trading account isn't being screwed over with manipulation, them opening up the spread when it gets close to your stop loss, them purposely hitting your stop loss, then going in the direction they want. Like you need to make sure that you guys are good. So there's all this stuff that you guys can look into and look over. All you need to do though is go to open an account. And then when you do that, you'll go and sign up. You'll they'll ask for your social security number, EIN, what type of trading account you're gonna have all that good stuff so once you do sign up this is what it's going to look like i'm not going to go over my accounts because it'll give you my account number but the thing that you're going to need to do for the subscriptions is you're going to need to get the market data cme it's only four dollars a month after you do that it will connect to trading view then you need to go to add-ons and you need to add on the trading view so you're paying 14 dollars a month basically for it once you want to fund your account, all you need to do is connect your bank account where it says transfer and payments, connect your bank account, choose how much you want to fund your account with, and then it will be under accounts. Now, when you actually connect it to TradingView, and there are videos on YouTube on how to do this. I'm not going to go over this basic stuff with you guys. I'm going to show you like the contracts and how to enter trade and all that stuff. And I can't actually physically enter a trade because sadly, I did make this video when the market was closed. It's about to open soon. It's Sunday right now. So to connect your actual Tradeavate account to TradingView, you're going to go right here to Trading Panel, and you're going to click Explore Supported Brokers, and it go down until you find Tradeavate right here. Learn more. Trade. Yo, if you guys are looking to scale your trading business and you want to get to the next level, whether you're just starting out or you already have some experience in the trading industry, you need to join us at Reward Over Risk. We have a bunch of programs like one-on-one -on -one mentorship where I actually have a 10-day class where I show you my exact strategies. We have live trading sessions where we get on Zoom calls and trade together as a community. And we also have trading softwares that can trade 100% hands-free for you. We have everything that you need to take over to your trading this year and the following years. But the only way for you to apply for this is to click the link in the description and book a phone call. Once again, click the link in the description, book a phone call, and let's see if you're a good fit to be a part of our community. Talk soon. So I already have it entered or logged into my other tab right here. So once you log in with your trade of eight, it will appear right here. I'm not going to pull up my account or anything like that. I don't need you guys to have my account number. And then once you do that, it will actually come up with these buttons. You want to make sure that the buy and sell buttons are on. So right click and go to settings and then is it scales canvas trading. Make sure it says buy and sell buttons. Okay. Then what you are going to do is you need to have the right pair. So I have M E S H E S is for the s p 500 so it's m e s h 23 or 24 right here this is the exact pair that you need to have and there's something called monthly codes that you guys need to look into it's hard to explain i'm not that educated on them all i know is you need to make sure that you have the newest pair open so you can actually trade because if i go right here to this one and i click this non-tradable symbol it will show you this so you need to make sure that you have the right symbol so if I want to enter a trade right now, say I want to go to buy, I'll choose the units, and this is the micro e-mini S&P 500. There is the e-mini, micro e-mini, and then the regular S&P 500 index futures. You guys want to start with the micro e-mini if you have like a thousand, two thousand dollars in your trading account. So let's say I want to enter one contract or one unit, market limit, stop, stop limit. I'm looking to buy. So right here, I want to enter one unit. My take profit, I'm going to enter this is like, let's say 10, which is 100 pips. And then this, let's say 5, which is 50 pips. 
And then when I'm en going to enter a trade, what's cool, it will, it will tell me all this right here. So if I put my stops at 50, I'll risk $62. 500, 625. So it's cool how it shows you what your risk is going to be in the percentage of your risk when you're actually going into a trade. So every time you kind of want to enter like your stop loss and TP and then click boom, buyer sell. Order rejected. So it says order rejected because obviously the market's closed. But once you do that, you'll have all these lines right here where you entered the trade and that will move. Then your stop loss or your TP, then your stop loss will be down here and you can actually drag them. So if you want to move your TP or stop loss, you can manually drag them at any point in time, which is super, super cool. So that's literally how you guys can set up your trade event, the pros and cons of futures and Forex, and how to actually start trading. Other than that, like it's literally the same thing as Forex. We're just using a better platform. We're using it on TradingView. Instead of pips, it's contracts. Instead of stop loss and TP, it's brackets. There's no spread. It's more regulated. You have insurance on your money. There's way more pros than cons when it comes to comparing Forex to futures, and this is why I switched. I hope that you guys got value. Make sure you like this video. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace. Not a lot of people made it to the end of the video, but you did. Make sure you share this video with a friend. Also, comment below. I want to know who you guys are and how I can help you guys out with your trading. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping weekly videos every single week on trading to help you guys out. Look forward to seeing you guys soon.